Hey guys, uh, welcome to Lecter Labs. Uh, this is Jaime. Uh, well, lately uh, we've been checking uh, an old project uh, from 2005, which was called the SC Analyzer, and it was basically uh, a device that enables the user to test uh, different semiconductors, uh, semiconductor components. Uh, because sometimes it happens that in, uh, you can uh, get components from old circuit boards, but either the, the, the ID, the identifier, the name of the component is removed or you actually don't know the characteristics. So this device allowed you to, to sort out uh, the leads and also measure some characteristics of the components. Uh, so we decided to, to make a, a remake of uh, this project because this one was based on a, on a PIC uh, 16F, one of the uh, really classic ones from Microchip. And now we switch to this body here that some of you probably recognize uh, already. This is a Platino board uh, with a display and some additional hardware. So the new project is based on a Platino, which has an Atmel microcontroller, and we will discuss uh, uh, upstairs how it works. Well, as said, uh, the project is uh, based on a, on a Platino board. Uh, the Platino board comes with an with a AVR microcontroller, which is a 80 mega 32. And the additional hardware for this project uh, mainly consists in a power supply with a 5 volts uh, regulator here. And, and then uh, a circuit that is based on a 4 to 1 multiplexer with uh, 4 resistors. And that circuit is copied three times uh, according to the three pins of a, of a transistor. Basically because the microcontroller has to guess uh, if, we're, uh, if that pin uh, is, a ba is the base of the transistor of, or the collector or the emitter. We got this transistor from outer space <laughs> and we have no idea if it works and also which kind of transistor uh, we're talking about. Uh, so let's uh, connect it and see what happens. So first I'm gonna power it up. And now the system is showing us that first, well, we have to press the switch to test. There's nothing connected, so first we really. And the good point of this is that we can actually connect uh, the terminals, uh, whatever we want, because we, we don't know the pins of the transistor. So let's go and okay. Now we got the transistor connected to three random pins, um, test points. So I'm gonna press uh, and see what happens. In this case, we know that we have, uh, the type is a PMP transistor, and we know that the, the test point, the test pin uh, number three corresponds to the collector, uh, number one is the base, and number two is the meter. And we also know the forward current gain, the beta, that in this case is 201. And well, we were cheating a bit actually because we, we really knew that this transistor is a, is a BC, well, a famous BC369. So, and yeah, that actually corresponds to what the data sheet uh, says, more or less. And we also know that it works. So now we're gonna test with another component, perhaps a PMOS type or something like that and see what happens. So first, uh, I'm gonna connect it. Now I'm turning this on. Let's see. Okay, so now in this case, uh, we okay, for this transistor we have a PMOS, the type is a PMOS, uh, and uh, we know that the drain is uh, test point number two, the gate is test point number three, and the source is number one. And we also know, uh, you know, in BJTs, it makes sense to, to mention the gain, but in, in a MOS type of transistor, it makes uh, more sense to, to mention the threshold voltage. And now, now we know that uh, this body works perfectly fine, and we have a 1.9 volts. Uh, oh yeah, and a couple of things that I was missing. Uh, in this case, we're using a display to show all the results, but you can also, uh, uh, use an FTDI Elector USB to serial uh, board, it's a br br breakout board, and instead of that, you can show or send the results to a terminal program, and then, for instance, broadcast the results uh, whenever you want, like a server or something, and 
And just, uh, yeah, the next thing is that all the software is written in Bascom AVR. So, well, here's in the article, there's an excerpt of the software, but it's uh, available for free download, as always, uh, with Elector. And that was pretty much it, uh, guys. So if you enjoyed the, this video, please uh, like, uh, uh, share, or subscribe uh, down there. And uh, all the info for this video and links and stuff, you can find that on the, on the info box also down there. So that was all, guys. Uh, thanks a lot and see you next time. Bye-bye.